In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to color text. I've created two text boxes with just a word, and this symbol here is also text. It comes from a font called P22, which I bought years ago, and it's a text shape, so you can color it as well. And I've put up the color panel, uh, the stroke panel, and the swatches panel for ease of access. And what we're going to do is we're going to add color to uh, several letters or the whole word or individual ones. And just so you're aware, you can add color to the fill of the text. At the moment, the fill is black and also the stroke, the border of the text, which is why I've got the stroke panel here. Now I'm just going to select the uh, text box and in the color panel top left, you see the little T button. If I click on that, that will swap me to the text mode as it were to change the color of the text and it now switches to black and I will now change this to RGB. I can do this in the top left hand corner of the swatches panel. You can see that there as well. And I can do this at the bottom of the toolbar on the left hand side. So wherever you want to do it. At the moment, the fill color is black. And if I click on the stroke color, it's a diagonal red line, which means transparent, none. I'll choose black. I'll choose a color. There we go. Or I can choose a color from my swatches, whatever I want to do. Very straightforward. If I double click in the text box, I can highlight a letter and this will automatically select the little uh, T button to change the text color. And I can now uh, swap to RGB again, choose a different color, and you can see now I can make individual letters different. And if I want to change the stroke, I'll highlight this, then I'll just switch to the stroke text panel, little button, choose a different color. And you can see it's come up, but it's a bit thin. So I'll increase the rate, uh, the weight rather, there you go, and bingo. And if I do the same, I'll click on the selection tool, just make the box a bit smaller, put it under there. I'll change the, click on the T, change the color. This is the border, the stroke, there we go. And I'll now swap to the RGB and bingo. But it's not just uh, straightforward colors or flat colors that you can add. I'm going to the window menu now. And if I go to color and gradient, you can also apply gradient. So I'll do it on this vase uh, character. And again, I'm on the T and I'm on the fill and I'm going to choose linear and bingo, it's applied a linear and I can change the angle. If I wish, I'll change it to 90 as we go through, or I can use the gradient tool over here and just drag to produce it in whichever direction I wish. And if I want a different color, of course, all I have to do is I click on the color stops here and I will choose a different color. And let's choose something like that. And then bingo, I can apply a gradient to fill and I might do it the other way around. So let's do it as uh, so minus 90. So the dark is at the bottom going up. And I can also apply this, if I wish to, to the stroke. Uh, I can apply gradient to the stroke. So I'll make the stroke thicker to make it a bit easier to see. Now at the moment I'm on the color stop, so be a little bit careful. So I'm gonna swap now to the stroke and I can see it's applied a gradient to the stroke and I'll set it to 90, so I've got the reverse. And again, I'm on the gradient tool, so I can click and drag, as you can see, to change the gradient to the stroke. So I can apply a color to the fill and stroke of any letter or a word or text box, and I can apply color gradient to the stroke of a letter or word or all the text in the text box. Mm -hmm. 